Hi everyone, in this video I'll demonstrate the testing of this Argus A2 35mm camera with the Focron XA shutter speed tester. The first thing you need to do is to make sure your aperture is set to the wide open setting, in this case f4.5. Next set your shutter speed selector to the T setting, in this case for time, and open the shutter. You can see the shutter is open. Set the camera down in front of the light source. In this case I have a uh, block of wood holding the light source and a little uh, tab of paper holding the camera up to the right height. I also use a deck of cards now to set the test set down so that it's at the right height for uh, the sensor to be right behind the uh, film plane. Next turn on the Focron tester and select simple shutter test. It's now waiting to have the light source aligned so you can now place the uh, test set behind the, the focal plane and adjust the distance so that you get a reading of about 60 or 70 on there. Now close the shutter and set the shutter uh, selector to the time you'd like to test, in this case 1 25th. Press the start button on the test set and now trip the shutter. You can see that the test indicates that the uh, speed, the average speed, was about 1 25th. It's very accurate. So this particular setting is very good. Now let's go test another uh, speed with it. Set it back in the same place, press the retest button, and let's select 1 100th on the shutter indicator and we'll see how accurate that is. When you look at this, you can see it's at 1 58th for an average speed which tells you that that setting is not working very well. The last test we'll run is at a setting of 1 1 50th, which is its fastest setting. So set that right there to 1 1 50th. Set the retest button and trip the shutter. You can see the results show it's about 1 105 for an average, or about 106. So the 1 150th setting is actually quite slow. Um, the 1 100th setting actually looks more like 1 50th, and the 1 25th is pretty accurate. What I usually do then is write down those settings and put them on a label on the bottom so that you can see just what the camera is doing at the different settings when you bring it out in the field. And that's all there is to, to using the Focron uh, XA tester to test a uh, 40's version of the Argus A2. Thanks for watching.